Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you here. Today's video is gonna be a ColourPop haul, which is super exciting. This is over $100 worth of product that I have here, and that's kind of a lot, especially for me. I don't usually spend that much in one place on freaking makeup, but I wanted to have some fun because my birthday was a few days ago, so this is kind of like my little birthday present to myself and I wanted to get some new fun things that just came out, so I'm super excited to share these with you guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it and to do more of videos like this. And don't forget to come join me on Instagram and Twitter. They are linked in the description box down below. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started with this super fun ColourPop haul. All right, so guys, just so you know, I actually started filming this video and my camera accidentally cut off. So I'm starting over. I just talked about a few things, but firstly, I'm gonna talk about these new blush and light sticks that ColourPop released pretty recently. These are like cream, blush, and highlight sticks. I don't think they have bronzers, at least not yet. They do sell these in little trios, and then they also sell individuals. I just got individuals. I got a blush stick in the shade Aloha and a highlight stick in the shade Earth. Um, from what I heard from a lot of people, this apparently is like the most natural shade and it doesn't have like any glitters or anything in it. So that's not really my type of highlight. So that's kind of why I went for this guy and I'm super excited to try it. Apparently it's more of like a pinky tone. Then we've got the blush shade Aloha. I actually already swatched this because I was talking about it in the video when the camera cut off. Um, but I'm going to swatch it again. It's very creamy, very beautiful. I'm super excited to put this on my face. It's one of the ones that Kathleen Lights said she really liked in her video and it's like a perfect neutral, natural blush shade. I'm gonna swatch the highlight as well. So there we go. We've got Aloha here and Earth there. Look how crazy that highlight looks on camera. It looks super intense on camera, like more than it does in person. And I'm just filming in natural lighting, but it looks really beautiful. Super excited about that blush shade as well. All right, guys. No more waiting. We're going to get straight into the Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oil. This is super exciting. It's another very recent release. This is the new sister brand to ColourPop. And like I said, it is called Soul Body. And they came out with these shimmering dry oils in four different shades, I believe. I got mine in the shade Soft Gold. And I thought this would be the perfect in-between shade. Kathleen said she really likes the shade Warm Gold, but she said that one is more glittery. So I decided to go for the one that's a little bit more toned down. This is very shimmery though, I will tell you guys. I actually put a little bit on my arm earlier because I was trying to show you guys for the video until the camera cut off. But I can tell you guys this immediately that this smells amazing. I'm gonna put another pump on my arm just to add some more and it smells so amazing. Like I want this in a perfume. It smells like something from Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, but like very summery, tropical, like it smells delicious. So I am filming in natural lighting, so I'm just gonna turn my ring light on for you guys and hopefully the shimmeriness in this shows up because it's really pretty. Can you guys see that on camera? Let's see if we can still see it if you turn the ring light off. Okay, yeah, that's actually better to turn the ring light off. Really pretty on tan skin. This definitely does dry down a little bit more, so I do like that. It is a dry oil. Um, I feel like it kind of turns me off of like shimmery body products because I always feel like it's going to be oily and greasy on your skin and get on everything, but this doesn't really do that. It has a little bit of a residue, but it's nothing that would like transfer everywhere, I feel like, so... I don't know, I really like the consistency and the formula and it is definitely very shimmery. This is something you would wear to like the beach or like for like a pool day or something fancy like that. I don't think I would wear this to like go to the park, but it is really pretty and I just, I don't know, I really like the packaging of this glass bottle. I know some people might think that's annoying and that it might break, but I just think it looks so beautiful. I actually didn't even show you guys the packaging for the blush and light sticks. So this is what they look like. And then they have the little like stickers on the top with the names, which I think is really cute and super convenient. All right guys, so let's move on to a very exciting part of this. 
I keep wanting to talk about all the fun stuff first, which this is all fun, but you know. So they were having a sale to get 12 eyeshadows for $24, which is a really big steal. Um, I think ColourPop shadows are usually between $4 and $5, and if you get 12 of those, do the math, it's a lot more than $24. So I couldn't pass it up. Came in this little palette here. Well, it didn't come in this palette. They sent me all the eyeshadows and singles that I picked out, so I just had to put them in here. I was gonna wait for this video, you guys, but I literally couldn't because I was way too excited when I got them. I just put all of these shadows into the palette. So here are all of the little um, boxes that they came in, which are actually really cute. They've got these little eyelashes on them and they're like this light lavender color. There's actually one eyeshadow here that didn't fit into the palette. So this one's just all alone. I ended up ordering an extra one after the fact. So this is actually two separate orders here, but it came together because I ordered around the same time. Too many sale emails, I'm telling you guys. So we'll just talk about this shadow first. I got this color, it is called Crackle. I got this shadow for the fall time actually because I just thought it would be such a beautiful shimmery fall shade. It's like this beautiful pumpkin spice orange shimmer. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to wear this in the fall time. Excuse my nails in this video. They are so bad. They were bad in my last video too, but I think I forgot to mention it. Um, they're coming off and they need to be redone, so please excuse that. This shake looks disgusting. It's just like a banana coffee shake. I want to swatch all of these shadows for you guys, but now I've got glitter all over my arm, <laughs> so like I'm going to wipe some of it off. So let's swatch Crackle before we dive into the actual palette. Oh my gosh. Oh my word, guys. This swatch. Look at that swatch, you guys. Is that not the prettiest, beautiful pumpkin spice orange shade for fall that you have ever seen? It is absolutely stunning and it swatched so beautifully. Oh my gosh, can't wait to wear that this fall. Anyways, it's not fall yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. But let's dive into the actual palette here. So this is kind of a random arrangement of shades. I really took my time deciding the shades that I wanted. And I wanted to pick out some pink tones. They're a little bit more muted. They're not super bright pinks. But the top row and then the first shadow in the second row was kind of like my goal for like a pink toned look. I really wanted to try and replicate something like the Persona Pink palette. I am obsessed with that palette. I've always thought it is so beautiful, but it's like $38. So I got all of these for $24 and I got my little pink toned theme going on. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to swatch all of those shades and I will name them and like show you guys what they look like swatched. So this light one here is Say I Do. Then we've got Fair Play. This one takes a little bit longer to build up, but it's still really pretty. Then we've got Going Steady right here. This deep one is Cute Alert. And this last one here is called Pretty Cruel. That one kind of falls at like a random spot there, just because it looked different online than it does in person, so it doesn't like really fit anywhere in the line right now. But that's my little like pink toned theme and I am really excited to create a look with that. Let me know if you guys would wanna see a tutorial. And then I'm just gonna move straight into swatching all the rest on my arm. Moving right down the line, we've got Take Flight here right on the end. This is a beautiful yellow shade. We've got Paper Tiger. This is like a beautiful muted mustard shade. Super pretty. Then we have Howlin' right here. This is like a gorgeous lavender color. And I'm super excited to wear it with like a white all over the lid and then that blended into the crease just as a look on its own. I'm super into that and I can't wait to wear it. Then we got this beautiful hot red and this is O oh Ship. It is so freaking beautiful. It swatches insanely. I'm obsessed. Then right here we have Mr. Sandman and the next one after that is Glass Bowl. They're actually very similar, but completely different like tones. They're kind of like duochromes, and this one has like a purple tone, and this one has like a blue tone. 
it's kind of hard to explain, but they're similar but different, both super cool shades. And then last but not least in the palette, we have Goody Two Shoes, and that is like an insanely gorgeous gunmetal shade, like a dark silver gunmetal, and it swatches absolutely beautifully as well. So that is the rest of the shadows. Honestly, I'm shook at the way some of those swatched. The Red O Ship shade literally stained my finger red. I mean, these are beautiful. And I can tell right now as I'm wiping off the swatches, Goody Two Shoes and O Ship. Goody Two Shoes was that gunmetal shade and then the red shade was O Ship. The ones that swatched the best are definitely like staining my arm the most. Like they're having a harder time coming off kind of. This video is getting so long. Hopefully I can really cut it down in editing and it's just like the actual filming process that's taking forever. But let me know if you guys want to see like a first impressions video or like a get ready with me while using new ColourPop makeup. I am so excited to try these products out and I would love to do that in a video for you guys. If that would be something that you want to see, let me know down below. I got a few of these Super Shock products because they were having a big sale for like their 8 million follower thing on Instagram. So they were having a sale. I think it was like 40% off of all the Super Shock products and I had them, some things on my list. So the two shadows that I got are the shades Ritz and Lightning Bug. These are so beautiful. Um, I actually had them on my list already because I heard some people talking about them. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with the Super Shock shadow Light Up. That was from Kathleen Light's collaboration that she did with them over Christmas. It was supposed to be limited edition, but I think it's still available actually. And these apparently are very similar in the sense that they can either be built up or you can do like a very sheer look on the lid and it looks like a very glossy, wet, like glittery eye look. It is so stunning. I do that with that shadow a lot and I love it. And so I was super excited to try out Ritz and Lightning Bug because Apparently they have very similar formulas in that sense. I know that the Super Shock shadows are all supposed to have like the same formula, but I know there are ones that like are a little bit different and ones that are, you can sheer out or build up or whatever. And so I was super excited about these. I'm talking a mile a minute, but yeah, I got Lightning Bug and Ritz. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys, but keep in mind, they don't, like they do swatch really well, but the purpose of them isn't really to look super crazy and pigmented. It's more like that wet glossy lid looks so I can't wait to show them to you guys like that holy cow guys they're so pretty though so we have Ritz right here and then here we have lightning bug I also got a super shock blush which I've never tried one of their super shock blushes before super excited about this Kathleen lights actually talked about this shade which is get laid in her ColourPop favorites video that she did recently and so I really wanted to try it because I really trust her opinion and this texture feels so crazy. Like I'm used to the Super Shock texture, but for some reason in the blush formula, it feels different than like the highlight formula. It's more like matte and moussey feeling. And it's just, it's super weird to be honest. This is like a very pretty coral shade. And I saw a lot of great reviews on this too. So I'm super excited to try it on the face. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. Okay guys, we've just got a few products left. I've got a powder blush and a powder bronzer. And then I actually have the No Filter Stick Foundation and the No Filter Concealer. Kathleen raves about the foundation stick from ColourPop, so I really wanted to pick it up and try it out. I got mine in the shade Light 67 Neutral. This does feel like a nice creamy formula for a stick foundation, so I can't wait to try this out on my face. Again, let me know if you guys want to see a first impressions. And then the concealer comes in this cute, like, soft matte packaging. I think this is new. I think they repackaged it. I don't think it used to have, like, the matte packaging, but the shade I got in the concealer is Light 18. I think it's a neutral or maybe more yellow shade. I'm kind of like right in between yellow and neutral, so it's a little bit confusing sometimes. But that is the foundation and there is the concealer. 
But yeah, not too much to say about those. I'm just really excited to try them out and I've heard some great things about them. Let's move on to the last two products, the Pressed Powder Blush and Bronzer. The bronzer that I got is the most popular one. Um, this is in the shade Private Party and it's actually deeper than I expected it to be. I didn't think it looked this deep online or like in YouTube videos, but it is pretty deep. But it looks like a contour shade. It's a little more cool toned. Still though, I think it is really nice and I think it'll be good because since I've been doing self tanner and everything, I am a little bit deeper so I kind of need a deeper bronzer shade anyway. So that kind of works out. It also has a bit of a sheen to it. Like it looks like it might have a bit of a natural sheen. I like how it's not like 100% matte. Like it looks like it'll give a really pretty summer sheen. I'm like building this up a lot because I do feel like it's kind of taking a while. Honestly though, it's good when a bronzer doesn't get super pigmented right on the spot because I feel like it can get a little patchy and be harder to blend. I like something that's more buildable. I'll show you guys that swatch in a second, but let's move on to the blush that I got. This is the ColourPop times Kathleen Lights blush in the shade So Retrograde. Guys, I have nothing like this in my collection. I've hardly ever seen anything like this, but this is a very shimmery, like hot orange blush shade, and it looks insane, and I'm so excited about it. Apparently, Kathleen said she uses this like with a light hand. She'll just like tap her brush in there, tap off the excess, and just dust this on top of the cheeks, kind of like a blush topper. So I think it's gonna be like really beautiful, maybe even on top of one of the blushes that I got. Yeah, that's swatching really pretty. I just wanna build it up so you guys can see like the full pigment. So there we have So Retrograde, super beautiful hot orange. And then here is Private Party. Again, it's more of like a cool toned contour shade, but I think it'll be really pretty as bronzer and uh, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. All right, you guys, so that was a lot of product. Um, I've got makeup all over myself and makeup remover all over myself, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it probably got super long, so I apologize for that. Definitely let me know if you like to see videos like this. Um, I did post on my community page asking what you guys would wanna see on my channel right now, so definitely leave some suggestions in the comments or head over there and comment on that post. Let me know what you guys want to see right now. I got a few requests for hauls and I was going to do a haul anyway. So I thought this works perfectly. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know if you want to see more videos like this and let me know if you want to see a first impressions. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.